Good day, folks. Good day. Good day. Hope y'all doing well. I'm doing great. I got a message for you guys today. And the title is Empaths Forgive the Narcissist to Accelerate Your Healing. Before we get into the video, guys, let me take a moment to say a few things. Okay, because I've been seeing a lot of comments under the videos lately that don't sit well with me okay one thing we all have to understand is this we are all on our individual journeys okay we do the work for ourselves guys okay i'm sharing information that i've learned along my journey that I, I feel like some of us can benefit from, okay? With that said, guys, if you watch the videos, if you consume the information that I'm putting out, know that you are doing the work for yourself, okay? I need you to understand that you are doing your own work, okay? I'm not doing the work for you. You are doing your own work, okay? So the time that you invest into the, watching the videos or leaving a comment or whatever the case, guys, it's time that you're investing in your own self, okay? In your own growth, your own healing and whatnot, okay? So if you have a, a problem with the way I'm delivering the information, guys, I'm not forcing nobody to subscribe to me or forcing nobody to watch the videos, okay? I'm delivering the information as I know, the best way I can, okay? If it's not good enough for your taste, guys, you could skip right off. There's no need to invest the time in and leave a nasty comment, okay? Because that, that make me invest time to read your nasty comment, all right? And I don't have that kind of time, okay? I'm investing time to share this information because I know some of us can benefit from it, all right? So do be appreciative and do be considerate, all right? If the way I'm delivering the, the, the information is not up to par for you, guys, I'm doing my best. If, if there are certain things I can improve upon, by all means, chip it in. Okay, I take constructive criticism, all right? But one thing I'm not going to take is disrespectful comments. Okay? That's one thing I can't get I can't get down with, guys. All right? Constructive criticism, I'm all for it, guys. If there's something I can improve upon, by all means, all right? But disrespectful comments and 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 a trolling type of behavior, guys, why even invest that time in that, man? Huh? I question you why you would take your time, your precious time, and invest it into that, okay? Because what that does is it causes me to invest time to read that, all right? And that bothers me, okay? So let's keep it casual, guys. We are all here learning together, all right? I learned from some of you guys, and you guys, some of you guys find the information helpful, all right? Be mindful of what you're saying, guys, okay? Because I'm not forcing nobody to, to to watch my videos, okay? I don't even think I've ever asked you guys to subscribe and share or, or like or anything. You, but you guys do it on your own. And I, I said it last time, I really appreciate that. I greatly, greatly appreciate that, all right? But what I don't appreciate is nasty comments under the videos. All right. You disrupt the whole flow of things. All right. So let's keep that in mind, guys. All right. Let's keep that in mind. We're all here to learn together. We, nobody is better than the other person. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. OK. If the way I'm delivering the information is not right for you, you don't feel right by it. By all means, skip off. OK. Skip off. It costs you nothing at all to do that, all right? But let's not engage in back and forth. That's something I wouldn't do, 
okay so now that we got that out of the way let's get into the video okay empaths forgive the narcissist to accelerate your healing okay again empaths forgive the narcissist to accelerate your healing all right let's learn this about forgiveness guys okay say someone offends you okay guys let's learn this about forgiveness when you forgiving someone huh when you forgiving an individual huh, who who offended you guys we need to understand this all right you're not forgiving them for their sake okay you are forgiving them for your own well-being guys okay you're forgiving them for your own sanity okay you are forgiving them for you not for them okay you are forgiving them so you are able to move forward from the situation okay so you'll be able to what process and release that whole situation okay so you are forgiven for you you are not forgiving them for them okay i'm not saying forgive someone and let them back in your life no that's not what i'm saying hell no okay forgive them and release them okay and it will do your heart a lot of justice okay now guys one thing we have to look at here is the pain of going through a narcissistic abuse or an abuse of any kind okay the pain of being taken for a ride the pain of being used the pain of being abused okay it's a very deep pain all right it's a very deep pain okay and a lot of us tend to hold resentment towards the individuals who are responsible for our pain okay let's just face it all right call a spade a spade a lot of us tend to hold resentment towards the individuals who we feel are responsible for our pain right one thing we must understand is this okay the more uh we resent these individuals the more we resent these folks guys the longer the pain stays in our hearts okay i'll go there again the more we resent these people who have who, who have caused us harm okay who have caused us pain huh who have abused us the longer that pain stays in our heart the longer that pain lingers in our system okay and guys healing from that pain could take forever all right if we do it that way okay so let's take a moment to talk about forgiveness all right let's take a moment to talk about forgiveness forgiveness because if you're an empath guys then chances are by now depending on where you are in your journey you have probably endured a lot of narcissistic abuse okay whether it's in the family dynamic whether it's in your romantic relationship whether it's in your friendships huh? whether it's at your job at school anywhere but guys allow me to say this to you man huh the sooner you forgive these individuals who have hurt you huh the sooner you forgive these individuals who have caused you pain the sooner you forgive these individuals who have abused you the sooner you are able to heal your heart guys okay the sooner you are able to let go of that resentment huh? and create room for something much better okay because guys holding on to anger and resentment guys it blocks so much from you huh it blocks so much from you and it takes so much energy from you hmm? 
It takes so much energy on your part to hold on to resentment and anger. So let's learn huh, to release these things. Okay, let's learn to release these things. The best thing you could do, the first thing you should do is to forgive yourself. Okay, that's where it starts. Okay, but some of us, we feel guilty even. Okay, we mad at ourselves for allowing some of these individuals to take us for a ride, for allowing some of these individuals to hurt us, for allowing some of these individuals to come back in our lives and, and do it all over again. Okay? We feel guilty even. We Some of us call ourselves names. Okay? But guys, the one thing we should be doing, guys, is to learn to forgive ourselves. Okay? The way God created you is the way you are. All right? You have a pure heart, you have an empathic heart, and trust me, you wouldn't want it no other way, guys. Okay? You wouldn't want it no other way. All right? There's a reason why your heart is the way it is. Okay? There's a reason why you are as sensitive as you are. Okay? So, allow me to say this to you guys. Let's learn to forgive ourselves. Okay, that's step one. Let's learn to forgive ourselves. Okay, forgive yourself huh, for allowing things to go as far as it did, whatever that situation might have been for you. Okay, forgive yourself for sleeping and allowing these folks to take you for a ride. Forgive yourself huh, for forgiving them and allowing them back into your life to do it again. Guys, forgive yourself, okay? Let's learn to forgive ourselves, all right? That's where it starts, okay? Once we forgive ourselves, then we can venture out to forgive the folks who, who offended us or the folks who hurt us or the folks who abused us, okay? But we have to learn to forgive ourselves first, all right? Once we forgive ourselves, then we can look out and forgive those who abused us, those who hurt us, those who offended us, all right? Now, when it comes to toxic people and narcissists, guys, one thing I must say, guys, is that they are stuck in their ways, okay? Let's just put it that way. They are stuck in their ways. They will never change, and we're not going to change them no matter what we do, okay? They are stuck in their ways. They all, they're going to run that same programming no matter what, okay? So I'm not telling you to forgive yourself and forgive the, those individuals to let them back into your life. No, that's not what I'm telling you here, guys, okay? Once you've decided to split up with someone or, or go no contact or, or stay away from someone, guys, Stay in that high position. That's a high position for you, okay? That's a high position for you, for your own well-being, guys, all right? So I advise that you stay in that high position, all right? You can forgive folks, okay? You can forgive folks, but that doesn't mean you have to let them back in, all right? That doesn't mean you have to accept them back in. Okay, forgive them and release them with their troubles. All right, I'm not in no shape or fashion telling you to forgive these individuals and take them back in because all that's going to lead to, guys, is that abusive cycle will begin all over again. All right, so that's not what I'm telling you here. All right, you're forgiving them for your own sake. Okay, I'm asking you to forgive folks for your own sake. Okay, forgive folks so you can speed up your healing. Okay, because once you forgive yourself and you are able to forgive others, huh? It's easy to process that situation and release it. Okay, again, it's easier 
for you to process that situation and get over it and release it, all right, out of your system, period, all right, and make room for much better things to come into your system, for much better things to come into your life, okay, because the resentment you're holding on to, guys, huh, the grudge that you're holding on to, yes, I understand, and yes, I acknowledge the pain. I acknowledge the abuse. I've been there myself, okay? The lies, the manipulation, the whole nine, guys. I, I understand and I acknowledge it. But what it's doing to you, guys, why you resent these folks, why you continue to hold on to the, the anger and the resentment, guys, what it's doing to you is, is stealing your joy, okay? It's blocking your joy, guys. Okay? It's not doing you any good. Okay? It's actually taking space. Huh? It's taking space in your heart, guys. Where something better could come in and fill that space. Okay? But instead, it's being filled with anger. It's being filled with grudge. It's being filled with resentment. Okay? So let's learn, huh? So step one, forgive ourselves, huh? And then what? Forgive those who have offended us, all right? It's only when we do that that we are able to process and release that situation out of our entire system, okay? And move on with our lives because, like I said, guys, it's, it's stealing your joy, all right? And it's keeping you stagnant. Okay, it's keeping you from moving forward. All right. Again, it's stealing your joy and it's keeping you from moving forward, from moving past that situation. Okay, you're always going to refer back to that. All right. And it's going to be like a cycle. All right. This is going to cause you to shift that pain and that resentment and that anger to to folks that you come into contact with moving forward okay you're going to start to treat these folks as bad as you've been treated because you're still holding on to this anger because you're still holding on to this resentment you're still holding on to this grudge okay so you're gonna you're gonna end up giving folks this negative energy that they don't deserve okay and what does this do? It will end up pushing folks away from you. Okay? Again, it will end up pushing folks away from you. Okay? So let's learn, guys. Let's learn to forgive ourselves first for allowing that to happen. All right? It's not your fault. All right? Some folks are just toxic. Some folks are just manipulative. Some folks are just narcissistic. All right? And they're running off of abusive programming. Okay? So it's not your fault. They're going to try it with any and everybody. All right? So let's learn to forgive ourselves for allowing that to happen. All right? That's number one. Let's learn to forgive ourselves for allowing it to happen in the first place. Okay? And then from there, huh? from there, we will gather enough strength to forgive these individuals. Okay, forgive them, release them, and let them go on with their troubles. Okay, there's no need for you to be holding resentment, for you to be holding grudge. I know it hurts, guys, but it's the only way that you're able to heal from it. Okay, by letting it go. Let it go, guys. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold on to that anger. Don't hold on to that grudge. Don't hold on to that, whatever that might have been for you, okay? Forgive them, process it, and release it, guys, all right? When you do this, you will see for yourself how easier it will become for you to heal from it, okay? Once you've, you've, you've been able to forgive yourself and then forgive those who offended you, guys, you will notice how easier it will become for you to heal from that situation, okay? So let's learn, all right? Let's learn to forgive, 
all right forgiveness plays a huge part in your healing okay now like i said earlier this could have been in, in school situations this could have been on the job this could be a romantic partner this could have been in the family dynamic this could have been in the friendship guys this could be anything all right the key guys is that we learn to forgive ourselves first and then we forgive those folks all right and then afterwards we can process and release that situation clearly out of our system and you will see how fast it will move you forward in your healing journey okay you will notice the the, the change guys for yourself okay it's like a big burden will just be be lifted off off from your heart all right your heart will become so much lighter. You'll be, you'll be able to love again. All of those good things. Okay? Guys, let's understand forgiveness, all right, is the key to your healing. Okay? It plays a major part in your healing journey. Okay? So let me leave it here, guys. Until the next one, peace, love, and more life.